Walden three times a ranking titleist, and all of those titles coming in China. The Shanghai Masters in 2008 when he beat. Yeah, also been in a world semi final as well, hasn't he? And a UK semi final. Again, Foul misjudging the speed of the table. It's happened a few times today. And a good win for the home favourite Poramin against Ken Doherty by five frames to three. That was Doherty's second defeat of the day after he lost earlier. The Fai top of Group C with two wins out of two. Ball trying to play him. We've seen one of these missed earlier by John Higgins. Look at that. That's incredible. He thought that was in. I thought that was in. These pockets are playing tight. So another chance for tr wow. Trump in this frame. As I say, the last time they played in this event. Trump was a 5-1 winner. Yes, that was when it was known as the Six Reds Grishin against Tepchire and New. Yeah, great to see Jimmy playing well again, nice. isn't it? He's been put in a lot of practice in good practice. Uh, can he get into these Reds? Just came a little bit far with his positional play there. Sixteen. <coughs> sixteen. As it is, Mickey Walden still in with the chance. The whirlwind has made a good start against Tepchai, by the way. He's taken the first two frames to cane the all-important point in these uh, round robin stages of the tournament. Wow. In off from Trump. Another good shot from Walden. Snookered on all reds. Trump's best showing in this tournament was way back in 2012 when he made the semi-finals, losing to Sean Murphy, who's not here. He was originally scheduled to play this tournament, but that's a, a mistake, a misjudgment from Trump. Yeah, the three reds. The top one may go into the right corner. One. We'll soon see. Career high ranking of seven, as Joe mentioned, former world and UK semi-finalist he was well in front in that world final session that was 2013 Mickey Walden one with this event in 2010 and then in a decider to Steve Maguire four years later Ricky Walden was potable to the left corner. Ricky's got to do the same thing here. Doesn't want the full ball kiss. Well, that's, that's okay. The red is still on if he takes it on. Never shy of taking a risk, Judd Trump. Yellow and the green going safe. That's not to say it can't happen, and that's another mistake. Can you see the red? No, 
there's confirmation. Can't see enough of it to pot it. Oh, that's a very unfortunate kiss. So he's going to need the yellow now. One. spot on the one-year ranking list which means he's going to have to do exceptionally well at the upcoming yes. WST Classic and a number of the big names are in a similar boat Ronnie O'Sullivan would have to win the title to have any chance Neil Rob extraordinary comeback against John Higgins from 9-4 down to win 10-9 but it kind of illustrates the point we were making earlier today that some of the big hitters this season, but Chip is looming large. Barely a month away. The qualifiers getting underway at the beginning of April, and we'll be bringing you that event crucible in the middle of April. Well, that was a good attempt to develop the yellow. That time 21. The cue ball in behind the green there. 24 the difference then, so Trump just requiring the yellow. And Ricky trying to develop the black, he's going to need it. So here's a chance for Trump. Just the yellow needed. Alden would need a snooker. Two. Absolutely sure. So Bye. two nil to Trump. Nine. Fourteen. So Judd Trump applying early pressure in this match, getting off to a good start. In this race to five. Not bothered about the black. 